Understanding baseline is awareness. Blending with baseline is camouflage. Manipulating baseline is invisibility. My intent is to not only explain how to effectively apply camouflage, natural camouflage, but to help you understand how to function so that application of pigments is not even really necessary unless you want the distance between you and your quarry to be measured in, in feet and in inches rather than in yards. An animal's ability to disappear in nature is essential uh, to its survival, both for predator and prey. The better it does this, the greater its chances of survival and the continuation of the species. We rarely see creatures unless they move outside of baseline in some context or other. I'm crouched in the dead space in this photograph with no camo on at all. Kind of like the Verizon guy. Do you see me now? My head is right up against the side of the tree there. Right there. Notice how even though you know exactly where I am, your eye is drawn away from me and to uh, the other focal points. It's really hard for you to look at me, right? No jokes, by the way. That's the power of dead space. The first step in being camouflaged is to understand where the dead space is and to be in it. In this photo, you'll notice some folks standing around. Me off to the right, the big tall vertical trees. Uh, what you don't notice is Adam, uh, who is sitting almost completely in the open, right there by the base of the big tree. He's well camouflaged, but uncovered, and there's a difference. You don't want to be all camoed up. If you're just covered up, you can't move, right? And he's located directly below a focal point. Notice how you want to look almost anywhere other than where he is. So the nine essentials of, of blending with baseline in order are speed, shine, shade, shape, shadow, silhouette, sound, scent, and spirit. Uh, the application of natural camouflage. Uh, we have background, blot, spots, stripes, and highlights, right? Uh, it's, a, it's really a very simple sequence, and that's what I use, right? Uh, the sequence I use when applying natural camo is uh, background, right? The background midtones, blots, spots, stripes, and highlights. So let's talk about each of those in turn. Uh, but notice the way the moss drapes over uh, her head, and it's a transition between the two, right? Remember these principles so that your camo holds up at 20 yards uh, as well as it does at two yards or even two feet. And that's my daughter, Steph, right there. Uh, she just blends right in. Thanks for attending. Um, we hope to see you at the next one. In the meantime... Uh, enjoy practicing natural camouflage. I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, you know, come back and see us again sometime. In the meantime, have fun and be well.